My biggest challenge is to balance my relationship with my kids and disciplining them. I want my kids to grow up to be God-fearing, full of faith and obedient. However, sometimes I wonder if I go overboard when I try to instill these values into them. Personally, I was distant from my father. For whatever reasons, I am not so clear. That is why I am fearful that I will be distant from them if I discipline them excessively. My biggest challenge as a father is to give enough of myself to each child. The eldest is in polytechnic and the youngest in kindergarten. I date each one individually and meet them where they are at. It is time consuming but necessary to show each one that I care and to give each of them that undivided attention. As a first time father, I was struggling with taking on the role of both father and mother looking after our child. My wife and I wanted one of us to stay with our child during the formative years. I was unemployed for about two years and it was not easy for me to accept the fact that my wife was the one to provide for the family instead of me and I was the one who had to stay at home. After reading and me sharing, I'm sure that his desire to want to support his family in the way that he desires to comes from a place of love and care for his family. And to not be able to do so, I sense a great deal of pain and powerlessness and helplessness. When my daughter was first born six months ago, I felt quite withdrawn. The lack of emotion scared me as I was expecting my heart to feel full. Instead, I felt fear and anxiety. However, as time progressed, I started caring for her, those feelings faded away. I feel a little more confident now in my ability to love and care for her. As a father of two adult children, I'm concerned about their spiritual and moral values. I'm worried that they may go to the wrong source of it for information when confronted with doubts with regard to the Catholic Church's just teachings. I want to be more trusting, patient and understanding now that they are independent taking it adults and give them the space and privacy, trusting that the Holy Spirit will be their guide. Right now I'm 25 and it's only this year of my life that I'm starting to look into all of this. Prior to this year, I've always saw all these very hard stances on a lot of very current social issues as perhaps very old-fashioned thinking. You know, but I think hearing people my age speak about it with such conviction also brought in me a desire to know more. But I also acknowledge that if I heard all these things perhaps a year ago when I was not ready, then I might really have reacted a different way. Not a day goes by when there isn't this sense of anxiety in me for my family. I want to be the listening ear and shoulder to cry on when they need it. And more importantly, not to fall into the trap of constantly losing my temper at them. I hope they will not shut me out from their lives as they grow older and to know that my love for them will never die, just like God's love for all of us. I think as a teenager, I can say that even though sometimes I definitely get upset at my dad, like, oh, why is he doing this? That I'm still so appreciative of him and that I wouldn't be the person that I am today um, without my dad. Yeah, I, my life would be so different if I didn't have my dad in it. And so I can say that just having this desire to love and to be present for your children is already so important and I think it is so appreciated by them. Reading these sharings makes me realise that yeah, the efforts that I think my father has put in is so much more. I already thought he was very hardworking, but these sharings have showed me that he is so much more hardworking than I could ever imagine. I think I'm just so grateful for my own father who reflects God the Father. This has reminded me as well that I too need to show love to both my, my father and my mother um, equally as well. Uh, that it's not just something reserved for um, a mother, but that fathers also uh, desire love and deserve to be loved. As a daughter, I really struggled with the idea of having a perfect family and over the years I've come to realise that there's no such thing as a perfect family, that we are all each unique 
individual family units and I'm also reminded that to meet my own father and where he's at. That's why I invite everyone to continue to pray for your own families and all the families out there that you may stay rooted in the Lord and to entrust our family and our challenges to Him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for fathers around the world, for all fathers who desire to give you to us. Father, I offer up to you, my brother and fellow man. I pray that he may be able to draw inspiration from your love for him. And I pray that his cup may be filled with your love, so that he is able to pour it out onto his children. And that in all these attempts to, to love his children more perfectly, that you will help him to be patient with himself too. May you remind him also that you never give up on him. That you continue to pursue him all the days of his life. And as your son, he has nothing to fear. And that you hold not only him, but his whole family in your hands. And that is the safest place to be. Your know, I pray that as he watches his children grow up, he may not worry about the future, but rather to enjoy every moment with them. Even though it may be challenging, I pray that you will continue to turn to the Lord and turn to the Holy Family as your guide. Saint Joseph, pray for their family. May they always mirror after you, Mother Mary and Jesus. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.